six people were arrested today after protesters blockaded the entrance to a landfill site in Northamptonshire. Yes, they're trying to stop hazardous substances, including low-level nuclear active material being dumped there. Neil Bradford has the details on that. They kept the lorries out for more than five hours, blockading the entrance with concrete barrels. The protesters had arrived before dawn, but it wasn't until lunchtime that they had left, and only after six arrests. The site at Kingscliff near Peterborough was recently given permission to handle low-level nuclear waste. That decision by the local government minister is currently being challenged in the Court of Appeal after a long fight by local residents. 98% decided we didn't want it. We all told Eric Pickles that we didn't want it. He, he got this thing about localism and he would listen to local people. He didn't listen to us. He lied. If this takes hold as the central dumping facility for the whole of Great Britain, we're right in the middle. That's 250 miles from Sellafield. If, if we do continue to have a nuclear programme in this country, the waste needs to be dealt with at source. It's an absolute nonsense. It's a hazard to be transporting it on the roads. The owners of the site, Orgean, had agreed not to take low-level waste until after December the 1st. They've confirmed it is not handling such waste this week, but it refused to say when it will. In a statement, the company says it respects people's right to protest, but condemned today's action for preventing them from carrying out their lawful business and from carrying out what they say is a valuable service to the wider community of disposing of hazardous waste. The protesters, known as the King's Cliff Waste Watchers, say their views and those of the local community have been ignored at every stage of the planning process. Their campaign will not only continue in the courts, it is also likely to continue here at the site. Neil Bradford, Anglia News, Kingscliff near Peterborough.